Well, as you know, October is the month of pink when we double down on breast cancer awareness. Every year in the United States, about 264 women get breast cancer and about 42,000 women actually die from the disease. Men can also get this diagnosis. It's definitely more rare and most cancers are diagnosed in women who are 50 years old or older, but it's not always the case. To learn more, we turn to UofL Health's Dr. Brian Dong, and we want to make sure everybody knows the steps you can take at home because there's certainly, I mean, that's a good place to start. But before we get there, let's talk about some of the risk factors here. Yeah, absolutely. First, I want to say thanks so much for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, when I told some patients earlier today I was going to be able to meet Shay from WHS, they were very <laughs> excited, so I'm hoping they get a kick out of this. Oh, thank you. Uh, in terms of risk factors, certainly if you have a family history, even if it goes three generations back, your maternal grandmother, great grandmother, um, uncles, cousins, sorry, aunts and cousins and things like that are very important to know. Um, if you've had an abnormal mammogram, abnormal biopsy in the past, you definitely want to be aware of that. Um, and then other things like if you're on estrogen replacement therapy, um, if you have not had many pregnancies in the past, those are things that can also increase your risk. So truthfully, if you are someone that has some of those risk factors and you want to know more, I would strongly recommend reaching out to your local providers or potentially even someone like myself at the UofL Health Brown Cancer Center. And what age are you recommending that women actually start going to get a mammogram? When is that important? Absolutely. So there are a couple of different national guidelines on this. I would say at the absolute latest, I would start at 50. But the American Cancer Society actually recommends at 45. And then for patients with a family history um, or if they've had other risk factors like I mentioned earlier, you can even start as early as 40 or sometimes even younger. So if you have someone in your family that has a young diagnosis, whether they were earlier than 50 like you mentioned earlier, you should definitely reach out to your healthcare team and see if you need to have genetic testing or increased screening and potentially speak to a specialist provider like myself. Excellent. And we definitely, we only have a little bit of time left, but we want to talk about this fantastic resource, the Mobile Mammogram Screening Unit. Tell us about this. Yeah, absolutely. So this is um, increasing access to the mo to, to mammograms and cancer screening. A lot of times patients, if you can imagine, these are mothers, these are wives, these are people that are working, and you can't just take a Monday off to go get your mammogram. But if it's on your front door, if it's at the state fair, um, it helps increase access to getting you know, cancer screening that can potentially save your life. And I will tell you over and over again on a regular basis, I see patients that start their diagnosis on the mobile screening mammogram. Wow. And that gets them to a point where we can make a cancer diagnosis and potentially save their life if they didn't get this when we got the, exam, the, the study. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. You said just today you actually saw it paying off. Absolutely. This can make a huge difference. If you're interested, you want to learn more about some screening options here, check out the U of L's Brown Cancer Center website to find out where the mobile mammogram unit is heading next. We want to thank you so much for taking time with us, Dr. Dong. Absolutely. I know you're very busy, so we appreciate it. Thank you for having me.